So the Rockstar license creator has finally dropped, and it's pretty simple and pretty good. To use it, start up a GTA Online session and go to rockstargames.com forward slash GTA dash online forward slash license dash plates. You can do this on your phone, computer or tablet. It doesn't seem to work in all browsers, but if you have Chrome, you're good. So I assume you'll be fine in Edge. It didn't like Safari on my Mac, but, you know, who does? Anyway, I'll put a link in the description. And the process itself is really simple. All you do is configure your plate, choose which car to apply it to. Now, the car list will populate from cars you've recently driven in the game. So I found the most efficient way to do this is to head over to LS Customs, call the car you want, Make sure you get in and drive it, otherwise it won't appear on the list. Then head over to rockstargamers.com forward slash GTA online forward slash license plates. Select new order. Choose your plate style. Now it doesn't actually matter which one you choose as you can change these in LS Customs anyway. Type in what you want on it and click next. Then choose which car to apply it to from the list and wait for this pop up in game. The next time you enter LS Customs in that car, you'll get an option to apply your app purchase, and then you're done. Now, once you've done this once, you can apply these from the menu in any garage. So as you can see here in my auto shop, it was really quick and really easy to go through and add the plate to every single car. Yay, only four more garages to go. If you're doing quite a few plates, you might find you need to refresh this page after applying it to your car, as it doesn't seem to update automatically. The main problem I found comes when you have more than one of the same car. Like here, I already had a custom plate on my red Elegy Retro, but I wanted to add the correct plate from the film to my Fast and Furious replica. And you'll see what happens here is that with multiple versions of the same car, it doesn't seem to be very good at adding the correct one to the drop down menu even when they're stored in different garages. So when I thought I was adding this plate to the silver elegy, it actually added it to the red one. Now there isn't really a way around this. So if you drive into LS Customs and find that you don't get this message, that probably means it's just picked up a different copy of your car. And it's not a big problem in the grand scheme of things. All you need to do is call the other one, apply your plate, and then swap them around. But it's still worth knowing. Anyway. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.